Hi everyone, it is still February 20, 2018. I want to go through some information just as a, a free speech attack update. What is going on? But when we think of our time here on YouTube and all of the channels that have been taken down, all of the people who have been taken down, I'm going to go through some of those people. This is a dangerous game. It's not a game, but you know what I mean. And people do get destroyed by other people. So for those who believe that nobody can destroy you, you create your own reality, that is so, uh, it, 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 is, it, it is a stunning delusion that people have. The fact is, is that so many people are getting destroyed simply for telling the truth. But when you think about it, if you know anything about pathological narcissism, psychopathy, when you think about what is happening to us collectively by the few quote-unquote elite, the scum, the, the bottom of the barrel, people who happen to be in positions of power and have great wealth, when you think about how deranged they are and how many people that they kill and they will do anything to achieve means to an ends. Doesn't matter what the means are, as long as you achieve those ends, that is the pathology that we are suffering under. So then when you have these individual people, ordinary Americans, who are out there at large, who, whether they're law enforcement or teachers or uh, people who are working for the government, whether they sit on your town council, they're mayors of cities, they're local government officials. These people are deranged as well. Now, I'm not talking about every single one. There are exceptions. But when you have teachers who are teaching kids Common Core, and they know how dangerous that curriculum is, but they continue to go in and get their paycheck, they continue to damage children because they want their comfortable life, there's something wrong with that individual. When you think of all the law enforcement personnel out there who are clearly not there to protect ordinary Americans, but they're there to protect the system, there's something deranged in their thinking. And when you think about all of these government officials sitting on these local uh, town councils throughout the country, and they, with their own ego and their own power trips, do things that damage those who they are supposed to be representing, there's something deranged in their thinking. So please those of you who leave me comments saying it's not the American people, it's these few people who are crazy at the top, please think, think, show me your critical thinking skills. They need all of the ordinary Americans to be cogs in the wheel to keep this system operating. And if we didn't have people who were cogs in the wheel, there wouldn't be a wheel. So, what is happening to those of us on YouTube? Channels being taken down left and right. Um, YouTube, Google is continuing their attack on free speech, employing an awful lot of methods. Notifications not sent out. How many of you have told me and it's more and more and more. It just, it, the increasing numbers of subscribers that I hear from telling me 
They don't get my notifications. YouTube is unsubbing them. They don't even realize that they've been unsubbed. Um, and of course, we've got the community guidelines that are so, uh, well, they're just indiscriminate. You, the community guidelines, YouTube, Google, in their policies, they always say that we will have these guidelines and they enumerate a few, but then they say it's not limited to, not limited to means that they can arbitrarily hit somebody with a community guideline and take them down. And it is happening to more and more of those who post on subjects that go against this liberal agenda, essentially those who speak the truth. If you don't, if you are not on board with this liberal ideology, you get taken down. So uh, here is a video posted by the Vigilant Christian. Now, I don't don't leave me a comment saying that Vigilant Christian is a disinformation agent. That's not the point of this. I saw that he posted a video, a call for an uprising will not be doing this again. And in this video, he says that a call for an uprising, his channel was taken down. And I, I don't know if that's actually true um, because a call for an uprising He's got his channel up. So maybe it went down and then it came back up. Who knows? Um, but he also talks about all of what YouTube is doing. So apparently YouTube has these silver and gold buttons. You get a silver button if you have 100,000 subscribers and you get a gold button if you have a million subscribers. But people aren't getting their buttons from YouTube. Why? Well, here he shows that Pillsbury Troboy, uh, uh, not a channel I know, but he tweeted, I don't have any copyright or community guideline strikes. My sub count is legitimate. And as far as I know, I've been in good standing yet. YouTube still refuses to send me my 100,000 plaque. What a joke. Um, and he goes on to show that people are getting community guideline strikes. Upon review, we've determined that your channel is ineligible to redeem a creator awards. Oh yes, these creator awards. So many are getting these notifications from YouTube saying, sorry, you just don't, you're not on board with our agenda, so we have determined that you don't get an award. Now these are very, very big channels, right? Um, a plain truth dot info. Now it strikes me as odd that his views are rather low. And that he puts out outstanding information and to those who want to say oh you listen to a plain truth he's a flat earther you know what look um, you really need to well what we really need to do all of us is to keep an open mind about everything now I am not someone who's going to do any of the research on the flat earth. I, I really don't care. I care about what is happening to so many people on the earth, whether it's flat or round. Okay. And I understand that a lot of people have this idea that, well, if, if people could get that they've been lied to about that, they'll accept all of the other lies. Well, I don't understand that thinking at all. Not at all. Um, you, you can't even get people to accept the facts and evidence about anything. Why would that lie 
then open up their minds to every lie out there. It, it makes no sense to me. Other people believe that Christians, if they finally understood that they're on this flat earth, they would then become more spiritual. I don't understand that thinking either. Whether it's flat or round, Christians should be living the principles that they speak. That's it. Doesn't matter, flat or round. Okay. Um, so, I don't get, I don't get these numbers. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, 3,000, 1,000, 2,000. Um, well, A Plain Truth posted this video. Hey folks, and welcome to maybe the last video ever from A Plain Truth. They're shutting me down right and left today. I uh, started to get notifications this morning. Uh, they shut down uh, one of my sites on YouTube, um, and I made a backup site. Um, they shut down my Google account for a while and they've shut down a plain truth too, where I was backing up the information, this site, P L A I N, they may be shutting down as well. Who knows? Uh, I'm getting these notifications that I'm no longer can access these accounts, uh, due to copyrights. I've challenged them, but that doesn't seem to matter. These guys have just shut me down anyway. And just to be clear, folks, from October 12th, when I started this site, to back up the plain PLNA truth. Uh, until now, I want to show you, I make no money estimated revenue over this entire period. Um, zero dollars, okay? Right here at zero dollars, but thank you for all the comments, subscribers, and whatnot. Uh, the fires with the top, top, top videos here um, through my postings, and I uh, really appreciate it all from all of you. 67% males, 33% females has been the viewing. So uh, this is the only state uh, I have left. Uh, you see the plain truth here, shut down, JWP shut down, Love Cody shut down. Um, all these have been shut down just today and yesterday. <clears throat> but uh, I don't understand why they're shutting down my other channels. They're saying because they're linked. Uh, however, uh, I know Richie from Boston opened up his uh, Richie from Boston too, and that's still up and running. Um, after he had gotten suspended, and uh, I don't know. I don't know why they're shutting me down. I don't know why this is going on, but uh, it's happening, and I lost over 250 uh, YouTube videos and all their comments have gone. I've, I've appealed it, but that doesn't seem to mean anything to anybody, uh, and maybe I have to get a lawyer involved. We'll see. But um, just wanted to say thanks for all your support. Now, what I want you to do, if I do get shut down, please come over to here to this site, Taboo Blog. Let me get this up. So if I do get shut down, check to my website, tabooblog.com. Hopefully they won't shut this down. But uh, you can, uh, I'll get the information on where I'm opening up the next YouTube account because it can't be with the word playing or using my account or have to open up a separate account or whatever the game you got to play. But I'll get all of them posted again and use my, you know, I backups on everything. And thank you all for doing your backups. But this is the world we live in today. It's getting crazier and they're shutting down the truthers and they're letting uh, letting the uh, others that uh, they want to stay open stay open but uh, it's the way it goes anyway it's been a good run and if I do get shut down thanks for all your support again go to tabooblog.com for updates if the YouTube channel gets cut down uh, shut down completely thanks okay so I will link below to uh, taboo dot com or tabooblog.com and then you can bookmark it. This is very, very upsetting with it, what is taking place. Now, I remember Justin Woolley, Justin Hess. I have given this so much thought, and I've spoken to Justin Hess years ago. He was very, very, he was a great support. Spoke to him, lucid, sounding quite clear, intelligent. And he's sitting in jail for murdering his mother. 
Fencing Counter Tyranny Operations with Justin Paul Hess. So a lot of you guys are wondering what exactly is going on with my channel. Well, as you might recall, the Council on Foreign Relations, Center for Strategic and International Studies, and Royal United Services Institute was most dissatisfied with me exposing all their criminal nefarious operations and uh, have in more ways than one uh, threatened to kill me. So I thought I would try and de-escalate tensions and maybe even try and help them with their foreign policy issues and maybe even convince them to be good people, you know? How about that? Well, unfortunately, they like to speak in cryptic messages and play games and lie to me even when I'm up front with them and respectable towards them. They just can't seem to be respectable people. So here we are again, and they may just try and kill me. So it was nice knowing you guys in the event that they get me, but I'll make sure to, you know, make some noise before they uh, murder me in the AA style. Okay, so... So what happens to Justin Hess? This is what happens. We know that microwave frequencies, we know that they're using these as a weapon. We know that they can induce voices in people's heads. We know that they can change people's behavior on a dime like that by hitting them with a frequency. And we know that they can make people kill people that, well, if they were not hit with that frequency, they would not have even thought of killing anybody. And I do believe that Justin Hess was brought down in a very violent way. And here is a video that was posted, uh, an update, posted March 1, 2017. Now says he thought the government was watching him. He's accused of shooting his mother and killing an elementary school teacher. Fellow Chief Ross Cabot is live in East Cobb. Detectives say revealed details of the violence that claimed two lives in two counties. Ross? They came in a probable cause hearing. It was an awful weekend in December. A woman shot 17 times in an East Cobb neighborhood not far from where I'm at, down in Sandy Springs. A beloved music teacher stabbed, and one investigators say it was a bloody scene. The 31-year-old suspect eventually found detectives when his mother couldn't understand his conspiracy theories and made him snap. I was trying to understand what got it going. The cop detective testified he had a hard time understanding Justin Hess's reasons he had murdered his own mother, followed by the random stabbing death of a beloved music teacher miles away, all apparently because his mom didn't understand him. His mom did not necessarily uh, believe or understand his perception of what was going on in the world. Some of those perceptions were manifested in Hess's video posting, many under the title of Counter Tyranny Ops. One posting showed him interacting with a cop officer who had questioned why Hess was walking in East Cod carrying a rifle. 
Hess believed the detectives said the New World Order had him under surveillance. Neighbors heard gunshots the night Carol Hess died. Police were shocked at the medical examiner's report. He attributed 17 defects in her body to gunshot wounds. The detective testified Hess decided he needed to ditch his car, drove to Sandy Springs, found 53-year-old William Haynes at random, and killed him for his car, but then eventually drove that car back to East Cobb, where police arrested Hess and found the weapons in the stolen car. The uh, knife that we believe was used in Sandy Springs was recovered uh, as well, uh, covered, in, uh, covered in blood. And Hess fidgeted in court, said a few things to the judge, but otherwise uh, sat in his seat. Uh, the judge did not consider bond in this case. That request was withdrawn. Hess is facing murder charges here in Cobb and in Fulton counties and will remain for now in the Cobb County Jail. We're live in East Cobb County, Cross Campus, Channel 2 Action News. Well, it looks like he has lost a tremendous amount of weight. Doesn't look well. We know that all of this could have been externally induced. Am I just remembering all those who came out with their videos attacking Justin? All of the quote-unquote awake people who had nothing to say about him. He was crazy. He was this. He was that. Yeah, it's a dangerous game. But all of the videos that he was posting, so many of them, he was going directly for the Council on Foreign Relations. Directly on it. And here he is in a video talking about how the CFR are going to kill him. And then our fabulous community, so many, attack Justin. I... They can do anything with us. Anything, anything at all that they want. Due to all of the weapons that we have. What I want to say is that it is very, very important to watch what you post on social media because they can use everything against you like your videos. So here Justin is, you know, uh, I considered him to be an avid uh, gun lover um, but he posted a lot of videos with his guns. And a lot of people do because they are uh, for the Second Amendment and they post videos about all of the gun control laws, the deliberate agenda to take away the guns. But should anything happen, they have all of that to put on mainstream media and to use it against you. Isn't it great? Just like narcissists do. They take all the information that they have about you and then use it against you. We are dealing with incredibly sick, deranged people. And yes, a lot of ordinary Americans are sick and deranged. And they have, if they're not pathologically narcissistic or uh, psychopathic, so many Americans today have narcissistic psychopathic tendencies. And their behaviors are very similar. So in this world today, we've got to be very, very careful about what we post, what we say, who we associate with, because there's so many people out there that are put out there to deliberately take so many people down. And then you have the, the secondary taking down of people 
because they have their own personal issues and then they, you know, spin out and create an awful lot of drama. You know, it's, it, it's very upsetting to live a life when you know that the truth about your own life has been distorted, distorted and because you have been surrounded by so many people who lie and use the information against you and you begin to understand that with these pathological narcissists there's almost no way to defend yourself against all of the lies and then you live a life with you're the only one who knows the truth Justin is the only one who knows the truth about what occurred and this is not a man that I I would have ever believed could have put 17 bullets into his mother and then stabbed a 31 year old teacher we've got to be very careful so YouTube working on stricter policies to punish creators who do significant harm to the community oh wow I Kafka Winston world my channel gets taken down community guideline strikes I didn't even make any community guideline strikes none 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 they took me down on community guideline strikes YouTube tightens up restrictions on content YouTube tightens rules around what channels can be monetized it's it's happening guys and eventually the truth will be completely and utterly silenced that is the direction that they are going Google YouTube Facebook government they want to control the truth so you know YouTube will now impose stricter criteria for the types of videos that can earn money on the site and will introduce a new vetting process for the top shelf videos it offers advertisers YouTube raised the cap for splitting revenue with video creators requiring these sites to have at least 10,000 views but now Google will only open advertising to YouTube channels with more than 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours racked up over a year. It is not just to um, kill off free speech. It is also ripping off YouTube creators, stealing their money stealing their money. Listen to this. YouTube raised the cap for splitting revenue with video creators requiring these sites to have at least 10,000 views. But now they say you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours racked up over a year, which I guess means that Google is just going to be holding on to the money it owes you for a year. You got to have 4,000 viewing hours a year. Okay, but this is all intended to to filter out offensive videos? How will that filter out offensive videos? You're going to withhold money. Withhold advertising. And that's to filter out offensive videos. That doesn't make any sense. But pointing to the number of creators that depend on the service for their livelihood, some of those video creators reported as much as 80% drop in sales following YouTube's tighter restrictions. In YouTube's blog posts, the company said that 99% of the creators affected by the new changes earn less than $100 a year from YouTube ads. Do you believe YouTube? Do you believe they just saying, well, they earned less than a hundred dollars a year? Bull. I. So, then, then you would have a lot of people saying, oh, well, YouTube's a private company; they get to do whatever they want. These are these are the 
Well, I don't know. Uh, let's just say they have not done any research to find out that Google, YouTube, Facebook, these are government social media programs. These are not private companies. This is the NSA. This is government and government controlling free speech, government censoring content, government destroying free speech. That's what's happening here. But they are they are presented as private companies. So YouTube is pledging that its staff of content moderators will screen every single video in Google Preferred. So you got the useful idiots screening all of these videos to see if, well, do they go along with that liberal ideology? And if not, boom, you're done. That's exactly what is taking place. Um, Memory Hole blog. Still, I can't get into it. James Tracy's blog. Somebody left me a comment a while ago asking me, what happened to James Tracy? What happened to James Tracy is he lost his case. He lost his case. The jury ruled against James Tracy. James Tracy, a Florida Atlantic University professor, tenured, tenured, but he had a blog, Memory Hole blog, and he was posting. Now, understand this, James Tracy was a professor of communications, media communications. Memory Hole blog, he posted a lot of articles on Memory Hole blog, particularly about Sandy Hook and how the media was communicating the narrative of Sandy Hook. This was in line with his field. But Florida Atlantic University said that he wasn't going along with university rules. And that's why they fired him. James Tracy takes that to court and says, no, it was about that, the, the Sandy Hook articles because an awful lot of drama was coming out around James Tracy's memory hole blog Lenny Posner, he who was one of the fathers of, um, oh, can't remember the kid's name, the Posner kid who got killed in Sandy Hook, but then got killed again in Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, Noah. Noah Posner. And Noah Posner's face that they used for the Sandy Hook shows up in Pakistan as one of the kids who got killed in a school shooting in Pakistan. Lenny Posner. I don't know who this guy is, but he was very successful in getting an awful lot of channels terminated off of YouTube due to they posting on Sandy Hook, showing the facts and the evidence that no, Sandy Hook was a drill. No kids died. And he was successful at filing these copyright strikes against just, he got me. He's the reason why Kafka Winston World went down twice. And the last time I got a community guideline strike from Lenny Posner. And my channel's gone. Who the hell is this Lenny Posner? Some people believe that Lenny Posner, there's an awful lot of them, you know, the Honor Network, that they, they have a whole band of people who, who just search the internet for anything related to Sandy Hook and then get that website down, get that person fired, get that, that person's channel removed from YouTube, So, yes, Tracy did position the case as a key argument on the right to free speech and the principles of academic freedom. Uh, and the entire jury ruled against Tracy. He said it was a victim of retaliation because 
the university officials didn't like what he was saying, thought he was a nut job, and that's exactly what was going on. You know, even just doing this video and showing in an article Noah Posner right here, I could very well get Lenny Posner hitting me with a community, uh, with a copyright strike. Oh my God, I showed the picture of Noah. That was it. That's. But the, the university said he, James Tracy, was not playing by the rules, uh, and the rules uh, were about disclosing monies that professors make outside of the university and disclosing all of these details about what the professors were doing on their own free time. Many of the professors were very upset with these rules, but it is very hard to fire a tenured professor. But they did it with James Tracy. And claiming that he doesn't play by the rules. And he was using the blog for self-promotion. If you know the memory whole blog, you will know that this is not a man who self-promotes. If you ever saw James Tracy's YouTube channel where he was posting, uh, interviewing an awful lot of people. And right now, I cannot remember the name of his channel. This is, he was a very kind of, uh, uh, just, there was no big ego with James Tracy. But here at the university, of course, they destroy your reputation. They destroy your livelihood. He's got four children, and now he's out of work. This is a very dangerous game that we are playing. Okay, how about, how about Wolfgang Halbig? Now, Wolfgang Halbig was attacked by so many in this fabulous community of ours, of truthers. It was stunning to see this man be attacked. And Wolfgang Halbig has done more for us regarding Sandy Hook and getting the truth out than anybody else. And he was attacked because on um, his website, you know, it, there was a donation button. He was going, he lives in Florida. He was going up to Connecticut. He was traveling. He was doing all of this work. And, oh, he is looking for donations. That's why he's doing it. Yeah, I get really tired of an awful lot of people here in our truther community who bring down people. And are they, are they paid to do it? It wouldn't surprise me. So Wolfgang Halbig, Leonard Posner, brought him to court looking for a restraining order and claiming emotional distress because Wolfgang Halbig was trying to get information that is normally public. Oh, but the state of Connecticut was just putting a clamp on it and refused to give it to Wolfgang Halbig. So Leonard Posner takes him to court and yeah, they won victories. And what was the latest victory? The dismissal of the case and who dismissed it? Leonard Posner. Why? Because Leonard Posner, he doesn't show up. He doesn't show up for these lawsuits. He has attorneys show up. But then the judge, in this case, required Leonard to show up. Oh, case dismissed. But Wolfgang Halbig has suffered financially, emotionally. The damage to Wolfgang Halbig has been significant. It's a dangerous game. Many people are being destroyed. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because 
So many are just forgotten. They're just forgotten. They're attacked by people here that one would think, this is the community in which you get support now. You know, get a whole lot of support. That's why you guys who who share information and who leave supportive comments do not underestimate your actions. Do not underestimate those comments that I see underneath my video and underneath other videos because that kind of support is absolutely necessary because you don't see all of the attacks against us. So, yeah, people are forgotten. They come and go, right? They come and go. Without really much care at all. So Justin has is sitting in jail. What happened? What happened? I actually wanted to drive over to the Georgia jail where he is. I can't because my car I'm too afraid to take it long distances now. I wanted to go see him. I want to know what happened. I wonder if any of his buddies on YouTube reached out to him. If anybody has updated information about what has taken place with Justin, could you leave a comment below? But this is just a glimpse of how many people are getting destroyed trying to get the truth out. I got an email from a subscriber who told me that Tom Lipsu Oh, I can't, and I don't know if my subscriber spelled the name right, L-U-P-S-U. -S Remember Tom Lupsu or Lipsu? But what I heard was he got arrested by the FBI. Does anybody know about Tom Lipsu? If you know of other YouTubers who've had really horrible experiences, leave a comment below. This is not fun. No one does this to entertain themselves.